Hello everyone, welcome to Happy Soul Journey. So today we are going to look into your energy, their energy and future of this connection, far future of this connection. Some advices for you from the Wisdom of Oracles. So it will be a longer reading. I've already done with the reading and they are like awesome readings which came up. So uh, I hope it resonates with your situation and will give you some kind of clarity. And um, if you want to have a like free personal reading with me, then you can just put uh, love and blessings in the comment section below and I'll take your entry from there. And I will uh, pull a lucky draw at the end of the week. Like I think it's in three days that I'm going to pull the lucky draw from posting this reading. And every week I'm going to do that. So if you uh, love uh, to be the participant of that and definitely go for it and along with that if you want to uh, to say anything about whatever you feel about the reading then you can definitely put that thing in the description box below plus if you want a personal reading all the information is in the description box below there is 50 percent off which is going on just because of corona situation on high demand on high request I'm putting that offer for the month of May, 50% offer. Um, and if you are interested in Zodiac reading, then definitely go for the Zodiac's reading. There is a weekly reading which is up for the May. So yeah, that was all the announcements. Now we can see the options and uh, then we can just, you can just straight jump to your reading. I am putting the timestamp in the description box below as well as in the comment section below. So guys, let's start. The first option is lilies. Second option is letter and third option is clover leaves. So just follow your intuition. Whichever pile is attracting you, just go for that and listen to that reading. With an open mind, I I say people like listen to any reading, even the personal reading with the open mind so that you can get more information okay uh, from the reading not just the answer to the question that you were looking for okay so that was uh, the intro and let's start with the lilies okay guys Mwah. i love you hello palabra one so if you have chosen the lily card so let's see what's your reading for you them and future so this is my like most of my readings, which people book with me, is this. And I'm so proud of this spread that I've made. Initial phase of my, in the initial phase of my channel. So let's see what you got. So for the pile number one, who was choosing lilies, what the message for them? What's the energy of the people who have chosen the lilies towards the connection and the person that they are looking Watching this reading for okay, so many cards three cards, give me three cards to give me the overall energy of the person. Yes. Ooh. Upset, upset, one more card. Page of Swords, Five of Cups, Star of Swords, and King of Cups. Okay, so you are this is like uh this is like you know this two storyline you know two things which are coming here. So I will put both the situation in front of you. Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups. So your energy is like you are looking towards someone. It could be that this person is at distance or this person is in no contact with you. And you're upset over whatever happened between both of you. It could be some kind of argument or it could be some kind of rejection. Like it could also be that you both were friends earlier and things didn't work out uh, when it comes to your relationship part. Okay. And there's something really hurtful happened. It could be your own thoughts. It could be that you haven't even told this person what you feel and there's no rejection. Just... Like you have planned, you have just thought this thing in your mind that things will not work out and you didn't take any action. And you were just waiting that this, if, if it is meant to be, this person will make, make an effort towards me. 
if that's not the case i'm getting a feeling that you know you have told this person what you feel about them and uh, they just uh, they didn't you know like things didn't went well but still you are having a feeling that this person will come to you and you know give you the cup of love and offer you things and things will be all right it could be an apology it could be a commitment that you know it, it could also be that you know you both were having fun and everything else was going good but uh, when it comes to a committed relationship that didn't happen between both of you okay let's see what's their energy overall energy towards you feelings and intentions what's their energy towards you two of wands so thinking and thinking thinking about something this you are on their mind so it's not just you it's them also like yes there is something magician okay nice two more cards two of swords like two to energy it could be that they need to choose someone between you and some other person or they need to choose between the past and the future and one thing which is very very cute or whatever you know queen of cups that your energy the, the your last thought about everything is that they will come towards you and their last thought about everything is also a movement okay there's change movement so after making this decision okay this is a kind of maker this is a card of decision making this is a card of options confusion questions thoughts and then there will be an action uh, but this this is you know both these um, nights are the slowest nights like this is the slowest and then it's just little bit better so you are in a form like it will be a little bit better like within few days or few weeks this person will make an effort but maybe this person will take a little longer because there is a lot of questions which is on their mind okay a lot of questions so i think that they know that you feel something for them you care about them there is someone who is uh, in her emotions okay but uh, still this person is taking a lot of time to make a move here okay and um, i want to get some more cards from you guys judgment yeah to make a move to make a move towards you this person wants some more um, you know answers to some more questions um answers to some more confusions if this is a choice between you and the other person then they you know they want to uh, do something like something right like something right for them this will be the best for them okay um yeah So let's see what's the present energy of this connection. Yeah, there is a fight, internal battle. Things are not going so 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 right. The present is this. I want to see the past of this connection also. What's the past of this connection? Okay, so there was something little which was brewing, not so much big, but a little like initiation of something. like a friendship that i was you know i was talking about three of cups which which is still there whatever was brewing between both of you it it just something went wrong okay and there is a confusion and there is a internal battle and there is a fight and argument kind of energy and but this will you know this will pass this will pass because this is the energy of five okay Yeah so what's the future of this connection let's see what's the future of this connection guys what's the future of this connection emperor ooh so 
emperor is someone who has built it over the time and uh, it's very stable and uh, it's not reactive it's an aries energy but this is very very mature aries like an aries who know when to act and when not to act okay uh, this aries don't just enjoy the actions this aries also uh, enjoys because there are a lot of options for an emperor so options to go towards something or win big so you know uh, emperor just decided where the emperor wants to put the energy so uh, this connection is building up and this will build up over the time um lovers card okay so i am seeing that you know this connection will build over the time and this will become strong and there is also a some kind of maturity which will come into this connection and make it somewhat better passion is also there aries is mars energy so passion is also there when it comes to this connection yes there will be there is still also you know there is still uh, some kind of um, uh what they say pent up you know uh, attraction passion so that will be there please clarify the emperor more okay uh, i want to see the far future of this connection far future ooh what's that i was so happy by getting this card that there is a marriage but this is like six of swords in reverse like no movement no movement why that is if this is like you are already married to this person then there is no li living like they are not leaving you and they are not moving on or moving away um but marriage is little bit tough here okay uh, the card is like you know it could be that you know this card would have come like this you know then i would said that it is like not possible not possible okay but it came like that and to clarify that six of uh, six of swords came which is like if thoughts will no not go right okay uh, it is totally free will kind of stuff if thoughts will no not go right even if there is a possibility of marriage it uh, it is very hard to you know make it happen plus when a card is reversed it is a, a blockage there is a blockage okay so it could be that there is a blockage of distance between both of you okay it could be a blockage of communication between both of you and misunderstanding like communication in the way in the way like miscommunication not understanding each other so there is a tendency that things will be like bro but there is also one energy which is attached very strongly to emperor and uh, that is like you know stubbornness like i don't want to move i don't want to move even if like there is there is some ego which is which i'm feeling here and that can block this connection so let's see what you know what you both will choose it depends at what will happen okay because this person is thinking about you you are thinking about them they want you you want them there is a lot of things that you are you know that you are not looking you are looking at what happened you are not looking at that how much opportunities there similarly they are not looking at the opportunities but they are trying to think about it okay but uh, yeah there is some ego clashes there is some ego difference between both of you and uh, there is a potential of getting married or getting together um if you are not married yet but uh, it is like ego can block it so it depends that you know this card when a card is reversed your free will can make it upright so it really depends on you that what you want to do because you both want movement like you know you both want movement and that is something which is very common in your thoughts so let me have a one card for you from the this Uh, wisdom of oracle and then i'll read from the book okay because i want to give you a third perspective here so 
what's the advice for the pile number one, guys? What's the advice for the pile number one with respect to this relationship, this connection? Fork in the road. So it's like, you know, what your decision will be. As I of, I was already to telling you that what your decision will be, it really, really, you know, uh, make a difference here. Now let me read it from here. Mm. Where is 13 number? Okay, so essential winning is time to make a decision considering the consequences as you prepare to act owing up to your obligation to make a necessary choice. Relationship message. When you have reached a moment of truth in the evolution of your relationship, maybe some, something truthful came out of, uh, which made both of you question things, which will, uh, like, which will you choose to open up to possibility of love or to remain isolated, to go deeper and commit to mutual passion or to walk away. This is the time to take responsibility for your truest desire and follow it. Be honest with yourself about what you are willing to do, invest and give, then choose. You can, cannot make a wrong choice. If you move forward with the relationship, know that it will be based in truth and authenticity. You will have made a conscious decision rather than simply hanging on because you don't want to be alone or ending things because you are afraid of intensity of genuine connection. All roads lead to the lesson you must learn in your relationship, regardless of the decision you make. It will place you on the path to a truer experience of heart. Okay, so that was the message, but I want to put one more thing here. You know, sometimes what happens, people just move uh, move from one relationship to another one until they see their own patterns, like until they see their own issue that, you know, why they are facing that kind of issue with multiple people, why they are finding that kind of people in their life and why they are getting involved with that kind of people in their life. So there is a very big reason that, you know, you need to be very careful there that if you are involved with many people in the past also like similar kind of relationship then why that is happening what is the lesson that you need to learn okay so it is also introspection and this person is doing introspection okay this person is doing introspection if that happened to them like them also like you know if that happened to them that you know they they had similar kind of relationship issues with multiple people that they have been relationship with so then they are you know trying to introspect and you should also introspect like you know what's right for you what's wrong for you and what actually you want to do like if they, you're you are having a desire for this relationship then go for it okay but if you, you you want to be just done with this relationship, then then done. You know, don't just hang hang in the air like this, you know, that this person will do something or that will happen or this will happen or this, you know. If you want to make a move, then definitely make a move. Okay, so that was the reading, guys. If you like it, then let me know and uh, like, share, subscribe. Um, if you want a personal reading, every information is in the description box below. Uh, the weekly readings are up so you can go and watch for your own zodiac. Okay guys, so bye. Hello pile number one, uh, pile number two, sorry, the people who have chosen the letter card. So let's see what you are getting in your reading. So what's the energy of the person who have chosen the letter card? energy of the people who choose me like a car towards the disconnection that they are watching this video. Okay, now.
lovers. So, okay, so love is there. We can see that. You want to be hang on to this person. You don't want to move away. You don't want to move on. You are, you are like so sure that this is meant to be and you want to stay in this thing. If this is like you are you you are already married to this person, then you are trying to make peace with the issues or uh, troubles that you are facing in this marriage. Like no matter how hard the situation is, because here this is like troublesome water, and this person is moving away from troublesome water. But here it is coming as like you don't want to move on. You don't want to move on, no matter how hard the situation is. You're just trying to heal yourself. You're trying to make peace with the situation. You're trying to make peace with this person. And you want a ten of pentacle with them. You want a commitment with them. You want uh, long term with them. You want to grow things. You want have. You want to have children with them. So this there is a feeling of like you know you want everything with them. There is a strong love. It could be that you see them as your twin flame. I'm not saying that you are their twin flame, but I am saying that maybe you see them as your twin flame. Okay. Uh, so let's see what this person feels for you and what's their overall energy towards you and this connection. Okay, file number two. Oh. Give me four cards. there is a lot of anxiety in this relationship okay because i'm feeling that anxiety i'm feeling the heaviness here like unable to make a decision unable to do something whatever you know whatever you think like you will do you don't do that that kind of energy i'm feeling right now and this is not just them it is also you it's like both 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 are facing a lot of issues a lot of anxiety inside them Two, two fives. One more. Nice, like nice card to end with. First of all, this person wants to tell you something, some truth. Okay, it could be some hard truth. It could be some reality. It could be some something you don't know, and they want to confess to you. And uh, when they will tell this truth to you, they will not consider your emotions and how you will feel. They just won't tell you this thing. Okay. One more thing which is here, uh, which I'm seeing, like, you know, they made you uh, upset. They made you feel a lot of agony inside you. Okay. You were, uh, at some point of time, you were so angry with them. You were so upset with them. They made you cry. Um, you know, they, they did all those things which were so bad. Which was like, made you cry, didn't understood you, shouted at you, made, made a, you know, mole, like what they say. Hell out of a mole. Okay. Um, things were not, 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 not at all good from their side. Okay. And for some reason, this person is seeing their karma coming back to them. Whatever they did to you, they are seeing that thing. For some reason, happened to them. They see that, you know, uh, things are uh, going, maybe in some way or some shape or form, things are going bad here in their life. And um, they see that whatever they did to you, it is because of that thing that they are facing all these issue in their life, all these problem in their life, all this fight, all that, all that failures, upset, um, rejections in their life that they are, you know, they, 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 when they are, they, they are feeling like, you know, because the fact that they became so emotionless towards you. Now, whatever they did, whatever they chose, now things are like the result of all those things are coming back to them. Okay. Mm. I want to see that what's their next step towards you. Like normally I don't see for that thing, but I really want to see that what's their next step towards you. Three of cups. Please clarify three of cups. Ooh. more card Oof, 
guys this person uh, could be involved in some kind of third party issue okay could be a, a person or some other thing like you know um this person what's your next step towards you that whatever they sabotaged okay whatever they sabotaged they want to make amends with you they want to make a uh, effort to make things all right with you at least to the level of friendship at least to a like little bit of normal level and 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 have a you know um a new beginning with you brand new phase after this so hard situation that you both or you that they put you into like they are new they want a new brand beginning they want to make amends they want to make things right i'm not seeing right now here that there is a um, situation of love or relationship from their side but at least to the level of friendship because whatever they did to you it was really bad it was really bad okay what kind of emotion you 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 you, you showed them it was so bad to act like that with you it was so bad so bad what's the present situation of this connection what's the present energy of this connection six of cups so there is a rebound and i'm seeing that they they want a new start present energy is that they will like they are thinking about it or it has already happened to you when you were watched this reading like they have already came back and now you're questioning that what is like what's next they what, what they want okay what's next or this is like right now thinking of this thing is happening like you are also you also want this thing they also want this thing and they is thinking analyzing energy analyzing that what next so presently this thing is like you both want this to like come together rebound okay okay so what's the future what's the near future of this connection What's the near future of this connection? Can you give me just one card? What's the near future of this connection? Okay, so there is a new beginning, very rash, very fast. Um, someone will make effort, and that person will make an effort because this is the King of Wands, and now that King of Wands is just not thinking and just not planning. They are making an action, an effort. so there is a new beginning and strong new beginning like you both haven't reached the 10 of pentacle yet but like at least the starting is happening at least the starting is happening you know so yeah that is important after like you both have went through this phase very nightmarish kind of phase you both were not sleeping thinking a lot thinking a lot kind of phase okay okay So what's the far future of this connection? Far future, victory, pride. Um, like I'm seeing that things will go in a right direction if if you both will cooperate and both will like be very open to each other about what you feel. And so this will be very very like it can go public. This is my public card, so it can go public um, in the future. okay plus there is a lot of attraction also so that is also going on here okay now i will pull one card for like advice for you when it comes to this connection and um firstly i will read it from my intuition and then i'll read it from the book also okay so you get a, a third perspective also what like this the messages in this book is so beautiful so beautiful and very relevant like I usually read these cards for myself. Okay, like I read the book for me. Okay, so what's the advice for the pile number two with respect to this connection? New life. Ooh, nice milk and honey. Okay, so I think guys, you are a few of those rare people who. be a actual change in someone like this person was very bad with you like but 
I think this person is actually changing for good. I don't know what, what you did or what that person did, but there is actually a good change because like new life is also a beautiful card to get. Birth of new ideas, growth, opportunities, a, fre a breath of fresh air, life renewing itself. Now relationship message. New energy enters old relationship. Guys, just look at this. Just look at this. New energy enters old relationships and new relationships are bursting with the sweetness and vibrancy only encountered when winter gives away to spring. This is a time to connect with others and share excitement, passion and hearts full of joy. Like how you both will react to it, it's really, really depends. Like, you know. This card is very auspicious sign with respect to love and partnership in all forms. Guys, I'm so happy for you. Things will get better in your life. You will enjoy what you wanted. So trust it. Believe it, okay? Don't sabotage it. So that was the message for you guys. And, and let me know that how it resonated with you. Please comment. I would love to read your comments. Like, share, subscribe. And uh, if you want personal reading with me for your situation, you can book that. All the information is in the description box below. Okay, guys? So, and if you want to win a uh, reading with me, free reading with me, you can just comment love and blessings and uh, you can win it. Okay, guys? So, uh, one of the lucky winner will get a free reading with me. Video reading. Okay? So, bye. Hello guys, I've chosen the clover leaf. So let's see what you are getting for your reading. So people who, are, who have chosen the clover leaf, what's their overall energy towards the person and the connection that they are, for what, what for which they are watching this reading. Okay, so what's the energy? In, uh, six of Pentacles. So many cards. Can we just get two more cards? Page of Pentacle. I was just thinking like a lot of earthiness and this next card came up as a king of cups. Four of wands. So, um, you want a mutual thing here, first of all, with boundaries. Like, you, you want to enjoy your single, like your alone time also and uh, you want to enjoy uh, this relationship also. Okay. And... Uh, Recently, you have learned a lot about love and a lot about relationship and you're trying to put all those things into this relationship and this connection that, you know, you have when you are sharing with this person. Uh, you feel really, really deep emotions for this person. That's why you are putting that much of effort into this connection. And you are seeing like, you know, uh, that there is a future with this person. Um, I, I know... Um, this is like, it could be a very new relationship that you are into. That's why you are inquiring that what's up and what's the future. Or it could be that like, uh, you are having a feeling that uh, in the very near future, you are getting to get into this relationship with this person. So you are just thinking about it, how it should be and how it will be. For uh, many of you, like you are also watching the videos of like, how to be in a healthy relationship, how to be in that or the, uh, this or that thing. Like you are, you are trying to learn a lot of stuff about love and relationship and how to build a good and healthy relationship with someone. Okay. And um, you want something very great, very beautiful, very healthy and uh, very loving with this person. Okay. Uh, so that was your energy. Let's see what this person feels towards you. And was there a lot of energy towards you? Uh, for 
like you know uh, i just something came to my mind like someone is sleep deficit if it's you or them i don't know maybe this person is sleep deficit right now these are cups and you kind of relax them like even just the sight of you side of you devil two more cards you're also trying to make yourself like you know very good person and very balanced person you're also someone who is working hard towards their career to build yourself into something great okay so the energy of this person towards you like there is a huge attraction there huge attraction between both of you this person loves themselves also and uh, this person like feel uh, overflowing of cup with you when they get involved with you okay nine of swords okay now we can talk and then i'll pull like the future cards so let's i want to clarify all these cards because this person's energy is a little bit complex here not bad but a little bit complex okay and uh, so sometimes this person is so 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 attracted towards you and sometimes they just feel um like they want to have their own time they want to have their own space they want to uh, you know feel some uh, time with themselves and they get themselves into uh, isolation or they get themselves to with your with their friends or family uh, so it's like one time they feel so attached that they want very obsessively spend every minute with you like every second every minute they want to spend everything you know on you with you and the other moment they uh, they feel like they they need to uh, get into touch with their family friends or things they like so it sometimes make them feel so confused that you know what's that if this is something then what's that like why i feel that much of obsession for someone at that point of time and then like right now i feel like i should have some space with that person okay so that kind of thing happen with this person and they do that kind of stuff okay uh, this person is waiting for uh, like you know this person is really really want to have a stable connection and stable relationship with you i am seeing like seven of swords as not as something a self sabotage but i am seeing seven of swords as a card of manipulation like manipulating time space everything uh to get you know to be married with you and to have a connection with you everything that they want with you a lot of sexual interactions there which i'm seeing that too with you for nothing uh they think like they have to lie to someone or to you to get into a relationship or a connection or a marriage or a commitment thing with you okay so there is some kind of that they need to manipulate few things in order to get what they want and um, this is not like they want just like you know um intimate time and then just leave this connection all together no because uh, they know that uh, this is like come and go and all this because they feel attracted towards you again because this is not going to go away 
this soon okay and this person is waiting to uh, become the best version of themselves in a financial form they want to complete their studies they want to uh, get into a job which will give them uh, a lot of money which can make them financially stable yeah and they are manifesting that thing um Yeah, this person has a lot of things going around in their mind they they love you they have uh, attraction to you they they want you but there's a lot more things on their plate and uh, they're figuring things out okay things that i told you all those things just go you know um, very often uh, all these things uh, go through their mind but uh, and that's why maybe they are sleep deficit that's why maybe they are sleep deficit that's why i you know that's why i um get into a my my mind earlier like there's a someone is sleep deficit because there's a lot of things which is going around and which is going through their mind so what's the present uh, energy of this connection for very little group like very few of you i'm getting a feeling that this person has done in and out with you and you are trying to learn and you are trying to be very very like you know a perfect person for a perfect relationship so that this person can see the perfection and the beauty in you and don't go in and out and there can be a possibility of mutual for very few of you okay so what's the present energy of this connection present energy is like this came out like sometimes things happen sometimes don't don't happen like sometimes it's very very awesome to be around and sometimes like no talking nothing offering nothing is happening but attraction is there but sometimes it feels like nothing like like just just suddenly they feel turn off suddenly you feel turn off suddenly you involve in something else suddenly they in get involved in something else like is like on and off not in the relationship for most of you but uh, in the mood but uh, for for some people here it could be that on and off in relationship so what's the future of this connection was the future of this connection ten of pentacles please clarify the ten of pentacles okay so whatever the situation is this this connection will move towards the ten of pentacles Okay, so there is a tendency of moving towards the ten of pentacle here. Okay, now one more thing. If this is this is also a card of spouse for me. So if this person is married to someone, then I think there is a moving away from that marriage. Okay, and uh, yeah, from singlehood to ten of pentacle, I'm seeing here. So, what is the far future of this connection? What is the far future of this connection? Ooh, then uh, eight of swords. Please clarify the eight of swords. What's the far future of this connection? See, you know one thing which I'm getting here, like even in the far future. Eight of Swords is not a negative card. It is not a card that something bad is happening around you and something bad is happening in your life. Eight of Swords is a card of that. It's your own thought which is making things so bad. Okay, it's not there. You are not bound. You are not. Uh, you know, nothing is happening wrong. No one is cheating you. 
nothing is you know which is which is actually a reality basis is wrong but your thoughts are just making you suffer the situation and it's only you who can uh, you know uh, make it less suffering like make it better or good okay on your it's all it's your own thoughts like because this is a because this is mutual thing like you both are into this thing thinking a lot then making stories and then getting upset this guy five the eight of swords yeah see your own thoughts thoughts of that things will be like this or that and don't think like that don't think like that control your own emotions control your own thoughts even if you both will be together there is a lot of stuff which you feel like doubting that you made a right decision or not you are right or not you are doing everything good or not everything is fine from their side or not why they are being so silent why they are being so stand offish uh, recently all this question like no matter like sometimes this person has a habit of getting into isolation it is nothing to do with you or sometimes you feel very very strong urge to work on your career or work on something or learn something so it's nothing to do with them that you are like It's not like you are moving away from them. No, it's like you both have a different life, and you both you don't need to have that kind of balance in your life. Okay, so now let's have a uh, advice for you from this uh, deck, and then we will wrap it up. Okay, okay. So this card want to come for you, milk and honey. Fifty one. Yeah, the taste of prosperity, opportunity born of authenticity, nurturing abundance, trusting that your needs will be met, trusting that your me needs will be met, sensuality. Ooh, that's what I was saying. Connection and passion, romance between lovers, sweet moments of understanding, understanding, sweet moments of understanding, passionate romance, and love among friends and family are all here for you to savor now. your heart's calling will be answered let your thoughts mind it let your thoughts and feelings be sweet with gratitude and you will be nourished with the honey of abundance just move like you know replay that this passage which i just said because all those things i already told you that it's very important for you to be grateful it's very important for you to think good and it's very important that uh, for you to be understanding here and i think you are trying to understand and you are learning that skill okay so that was your reading guys let me know how it resonated with you and uh, give me thumbs up share this video if you think that anybody wants to hear this out uh, if or comment below if you want to enter into the uh like getting a free reading with me uh in in that kind of contest then you can just comment below love and blessings and i will take your entry and we'll do a lucky draw there okay so that was that if you want a personal reading every information in the description box below just go there uh, the weekly readings are up for all the zodiacs you can go there and watch that out for your own zodiac sun moon and rising Okay guys so mm, bye